So you're looking to buy some pipe clamps and you want to know half inch or three quarter. What's the difference? Pluses and minuses? Let me show you. Hey guys, Kelsey of Z23 here. And pipe clamps, they are a staple in a woodworking or a handyman shop. And I've tried both the half and the three quarter and there's pluses and minuses to both of them. First one being a half inch is about two pounds lighter, which for me, I really like that. But the downside is this thinner pipe, when you are gluing up boards, it has a tendency to flex a little bit. Now, will that actually affect your project that much? Not much. I've still used them to glue up panels and they work just fine, but you just can't squeeze as hard as you can with the heavier duty three quarter. And in most like major wood shops, you're going to be seeing them using the three quarter versus the half. And there is another good benefit of the half, Look at this little handle right here. You see this? That comes in quite handy when you're setting these on the bench and having to turn them. You have that extra little wiggle room there or extra little flex that you can just move that handle around. The three quarter, they have to be setting upright. They can't be turned too much or you're gonna be dragging your knuckles on the bench. To me, they're more clunky, but a lot of them have it. Now, besides the features, there's also a thing called price, and there is a price difference on these. Let me show you here what we got. We have the three quarter inch pony clamp. It's currently going for about $17 on Amazon. That is just the orange pieces. You have to buy the pipe separate. For the half inch, $15, $2 savings. Now for the actual pipe itself, we are looking at a four foot pipe, which is a good length that you want to start out with. $26 for a four foot pipe, ouch. But still $21 for a half inch. So they're both expensive where you're gonna either set up for $43 per clamp, $36 per clamp. Now there is a couple little tricky tricks you can do for both three quarter or half. Instead of a four foot pipe, you can buy a 10 footer, which I think was running around $20 for a 10 where I think what you're paying is for these threads on the end. With a pipe clamp, you only need threads on one end. So buy a 10 footer, cut it in half, and now they're only 10 bucks a pipe instead of $26 a pipe. Only downside to that, if you ever wanted to extend them, which like say you have the second set of threads, you buy a little pipe coupler and you can screw two of these together for really long things. How often do I do that? Um, maybe once or twice in the last 15 years have I actually had to extend this to like eight feet for a really big project. So I would say buy the 10 footer, cut her in half, and you're going to save some money. Now, besides Pony, there is other brands that are cheaper. And I'll leave a link for them plus these down below if you want to check them out. It is affiliate links, which means you help support the channel when you do that. But let's just say here's, here's an off brand and it has the same number of kind of friction plates, which grab as the pony. Same style handle. This one actually is shorter, so it's a little better on dragging your knuckles. So for me, I would probably go off-brand three-quarter inch. Now there is off-brand half inches, but there's not this fancy handle. They put that solid handle on their half inches. I haven't found any half inch off-brands. So which one do I recommend? For me, it's the half inch pony with this fun handle, two pounds lighter, cheaper version. Now I'm not a professional woodworker. I'm more of your all around handyman that does woodworking. So I like these. For someone's full blown woodworker, you might want that more solid gripping power for when you're doing a lot of glue up work. So what would I recommend? Buy a couple of them, whichever one you think you're gonna do. Try them out, see if they work for you and then add on to your collection as your budget allows. Hope that helps. If you want other tips and videos like this, be sure and hit the subscribe button down below. Otherwise, I'll catch you on the next one.